First of all, we have two collections. Uh, the retro collection, which is, I've put out on the table, because this is the more uh, interesting collection, is called OGOG, OG, which is Oliver Goldsmith Original and Genuine Eyewear. This is all my designs from the 60s, 70s and 80s. In the UK, I also have a collection called OG UK, which is a more middle-of-the-road collection geared to the middle-of-the-road uh, buyers in England. We restrict the number of outlets for this, but obviously we go for maximum outlets with the, with the UK collection. The difference between the two is that the, there's a lot of metals in the UK collection. The price range is also very different because the OG UK collection is priced to meet the average consumer that they, that they want to spend money on. Um, these retail, the, the retros retail from £350 upwards. But this is very specialised. But with this collection, which is very important, I just want to explain this. We're not selling spectacles. The retro collection, we don't sell spectacle frames. We're selling history, heritage, and a story. And it, I have to educate the opticians about the story because they have to tell their patients the story in order to get that patient interested in saying, well, I definitely want that. The OG UK collection we don't show here. The, we have to do, unfortunately, the basic colours, you know, because it's black, brown, in metals, it's black, brown, silver, okay? Because that's the colours they choose. If it was me, I would have like a silver front, I'm talking about metals, I'd have a silver front with a bright red side, I'd have black with a silver side. I wouldn't do it all black and all silver because it doesn't, it's, you're losing the interest. You, you, everyone's trying to create a, a market for themselves and I think unless you actually do some colours, Within reason, I understand why they don't want it, but it, you must have something there that just stands out from the crowd. Mm. This is a huge piece of furniture on your face. And when, when people meet you, they, they recognize you by your face. And what do they see on your face? They see the glasses. Well, the, the most important thing is, especially for women who hate wearing glasses, is you want someone to say to you, wow, I love your glasses. And then you feel really at ease about it. You know, you say, well, yeah, I love them too. It's, it's a nice statement. So for women, we say this is face jewelry and for men face furniture. This design is our number one seller. This was worn by Peter Sellers, not in film work, outside of film work, because during film work he wore contact lenses. This is a statement frame. This makes a statement. And the thing is, once you try it on, it fits beautifully. Now we're promoting this sort of thing, which is a black overlay on a red. So you've got a basic black frame, but you can see in the light, the red shows through. And that's what's important. And this is one, I, I can demonstrate this one. It's one that I'm going to get, this is brand new for the show, but I'm having this made up. Because I just love the, the essence of it being black, but people look at you and go, is that, is that red behind there? Is it, you know, is it, yeah. This is a two, what we call a two-tone effect. And I think it's important that people can um, have something what they have to do, basically, they've got to trust me. But the thing is, I would never make a woman or a man look stupid in glasses. There's no point. Because I want them to, um, I want the person who's buying my glasses to feel comfortable and that they enjoy wearing them. That's the most important thing. And, and having said that, never take your mother, your father, your girlfriend, your wife, or anybody to help you choose glasses. Because you'll end up buying what they want, not what you want. And the whole thing about buying glasses is that you must feel comfortable about wearing them when you go out. Because if, you're, if you feel they're good on you, then you're not conscious that maybe the shape's wrong or something. It doesn't matter. We don't want to be dictated to that you can only wear black or tortoiseshell. You know? Black and tortoiseshell is always there because it's, it's a mainstream seller. But the thing is, one wants to get into colour. You know, we don't get enough sunshine in England as it is. So, you know, let's wear a bit of bright colours to make ourselves feel better. This is another one I'm getting made up as well. This is the other, this is with the blue aquamarine behind, black with the aquamarine. So here you have um, a, a, what I think is a very, very nice man's frame. It's a unisex frame and uh, you know, a man or a woman can wear it.